fellow year two. I hope you're keeping safe. And it was lovely speaking to some of you on the phone last week. And hopefully I'll speak with you again soon. The sun is out, which always makes me feel so much better. I'm sure it makes you feel better too. Okay, this week we're going to be learning about nouns. Now we have met Naomi Noun before. That helps us know all about, learn all about our nouns. Hi, my name is Naomi Noun and I like naming things. My job is to make sure people, places and animals have a name. A noun is a naming word. It can name a person, place or a thing. A name of a person. So here we are, we have a list of names of people. So we've got Scarlet, Footballer, Doctor, Teacher, Boy or Pop Star. Pause the video for me. Can you name a name of a person for me? Great, well done, okay. So now what we have is we've got a noun is also the name of a place. And we've got school, London, shop, church, swimming pool and beach. They are names of places. Pause the video for me and tell somebody in your house the, a noun, the name of a place. Super job, well done. Okay, another noun is when you name a thing. So the name of a thing, for example, book, cat, pencil, television, ball and chair. Pause the video and have a look around your house what nouns can you spot? What names of things can you spot? Okay, let's do our first task together. So we're going to look at the words below. Which ones are nouns? So the first word there, candle. Let's have that book, look at that word there, candle. Is it the name of a person, place, thing or an animal? That's right, the candle is a noun, well done. The next word there says pretty. Is pretty the name of a person, place, thing or animal? No, it's not, well done, pretty is not a noun. How about the next word, dancing? Well done, you've got it, dancing is not a noun. How about the word owl? You are super at this, well done, because owl is the name of an animal. So it's the name of a person, place, thing or animal. It is a noun. Great job. Let's do the next line together. Bird. Super bird is a noun. How about Joshua? Well done. That was an easy one for you. We've got Joshua in our class and that's the name of a person. Next word says flying. Is flying a noun? Well done, it's not a noun. It's not the name of a person, place or thing. How about the last word on that line, plain. Yay, super effort, plain is a noun. Well done, okay. What I want you to do now is pause the video and tell somebody in your house whether the words that are left, whether they're noun, whether they are a noun or not a noun. Well done. Super, I hope you had fun spotting which words were nouns and which weren't nouns. Great job. Okay, our next job. Can you find the nouns in these sentences? The dog is wet. We need to find the noun. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing or animal. So which word is the noun? That's right, you were right. Dog, dog is a noun. Let's read this next sentence. The trousers are blue. Which word is a noun? What's the name of a person, place, thing or animal? Super, trousers, yes, you're right. Trousers are a thing that you wear. Let's have a look at this sentence. Look at the beautiful owl. Look at the beautiful owl. The noun is owl. Oh, yes, well done. 
How about this one? This is a little puzzle for you. Solve the puzzle below by finding the correct noun. So it says, something you use for cutting. What do we use for cutting? What noun do we use for cutting? Knife, spoon, cat or bed? Well done, we do use a knife for cutting. How on earth would you use your bed for cutting? Very strange. An animal that barks. Which one of these nouns are an animal that barks? Yes, well done, of course it's a dog. The next one, the next puzzle is a place you go to learn. So we need to find the noun that's a place of where you go to learn. Yes, you do go to school and very soon we'll all be back at school to learn, I'm sure. Something you use to write with. Now we want a noun that describes something you use to write with. That's right, it's a pencil. Well done, you are super at this. Okay, so your task is there's a separate sheet. Now, if you don't have um, a printer to print the sheet out, that's absolutely fine. Just write the sentences in your book or you can just write the noun. So let's look at this first sentence. My birthday is in May. To help you out, I've put a little number two there because there are two nouns in that sentence. You need to write those two nouns down. Pause the video, tell somebody, what are the two nouns in that sentence? My birthday is in May. Yes, that's right, birthday and May are the nouns, well done. I'm not going to tell you any more of them because you are super at this noun, nouns job now because a noun is the name of a person, place, thing or animal. Well done, good luck with your noun spotting and I'll hopefully see you again soon.